Right, here's going to be a fairly detailed video on this 2003 Porsche Cayenne Turbo 4.5 V8 petrol auto, about 450 horsepower. Um, metallic black, black leather interior, quite a few options including a sunroof, 19 inch wheels, um, sat nav, I'll have more of that later, uh, heated seats and so on. Um, very, very presentable, very tidy. It's done slightly under 10,000 miles a year, so it's been in regular use. Last owner's had it since 2016. Traded it in at a Volvo dealer for a new car. So clearly, some people can afford to buy a new car and, uh, and keep maintaining uh, something like this properly. So uh, it's not one that's ever been fallen into the hands of someone that can't, uh, which is great, because there's a lot, of, a lot of frogs out there to kiss when you find a prince looking for one of these. There's a little bit of a scratch on the bonnet, not too bad. Unfortunately, that towing eye cover is missing. Um, wheels in pretty good order, centres have deteriorated a bit. Tyres are all very good, brakes are all very good. Um, it's strange, it hasn't been balloted, it's just as it's, uh, as it's arrived. Um, usual slight deterioration there, not as bad as they normally get. Looks like it wants a little bit of a polish, very, very light scratch there. Um, back's pretty good. The plate's been changed. There's photographs of the correct number plate and documents. The glass stays up fine. The tailgate stays up fine. It's not the strongest ever, but it does hold up, as you can see. Um, it's a strange thing of having all the tools. Um, and a completely unused, seemingly factory tow bar that's just never ever been on. Um, there's, I think there's a key to that that's in there and another key in there. There's at least one, I think there's two keys with it. I'm not going to get them out while doing this video. Um, so that's that. There's a CD changer in there and a warning triangle. There isn't a parcel shelf, unfortunately. Um, so if I pull that down, should I? Okay. Um, parking sensors are working. There was once when it, it, they seemed to trip out, which means one sensor was failing. But uh, it's, uh, that's only happened once ever since. It's been working fine. Um, that wheel's pretty good too. So is the tyre. Uh, this will surprise you if you've looked at a few. Now this isn't unusual. It's slightly pulled here, but um, uh, and similarly here. This hasn't ripped. It's slightly dented. This is from folding the seats down when you know, putting stuff in the back. Um, it does seem to have a load through catch. I haven't tried that. Often pings out a ski bag which I don't want to be uh, having to try stuff back in. Um, it does have Bose sound. You can turn the airbag off at the front. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll go around to the driver's side and show you the, uh, the documents while I'm sat there. Um, mirror is pretty good. Oh, was, yeah, some blemishes down there. Some of that's car wash sponge. Um, again, wheels very good. Um, brakes particularly good. The tyres on. Uh, that one's cleaning off. Um, and the lacquer's peeled just a th tiny bit there. I'm being very picky on a 21 year old car, but I'd rather be thorough. Um, there's the sunroof, it works, it tilts, and it retracts just fine. Um, so, this is the correct registration number. Uh, made new plates, not fitted them yet. I'm going to be careful how I show you the service book for the sake of uh, sensitive information. You can see it's the the correct logbook. Only two former keepers and the most recent since 2016. So that is rare. Um, if I do that. There are still photos of this, so it's probably not necessary. Yeah, you go, 2nd of May 2003. Um, And there are still photos of uh, the various um, bills and receipts for the car. The most recent of which was a service done about a thousand miles ago. Uh, there we go. Cover that there. Like that. 
that so that's the service all done uh, so therefore it's not due until um, January 2025 or another about 18,000 miles um, and then there's various stickers in the service book brake fluid that's not all been kept up with in terms of documenting it uh, and the other Porsche service stamps taking it to uh, 100 nearly 117,000 miles nearly within the dealer network um, Air suspension, that works fine, goes up and down, settings work and so on. Um, there are, I will start it actually, don't let me do that on these videos. Uh, so the faults with the car are, the um, headlining is sagging. As you can see, it's a bit baggy. Some people would live with that. The, the owners clearly have done, but I'd rather point it out. Um, and unfortunately, this doesn't work, the head unit. It's definitely a head unit because I've tried an alternative head unit from another car and it works and the sound works and, and so on. Um, but it's not a compatible unit to the car because this has the sat-nav drive integrated in it. And I tried one from a later car, it has a sat-nav drive under the seat. Um, so if you're going to get a standard Porsche replacement, they're two or three hundred pound eBay or whatever, um, then make sure you get the right one, uh, or get an aftermarket replacement that'll be much more modern and uh, more functionality. Um, so there's the dashboard. Let's start the engine. Oh, beautiful and smooth. Um, so there we go. Yeah, I've just put twenty pounds worth of fuel in it. <laughs> uh, the show system fault works. It did. It's just had a brand new battery. Um, so let's reset these things, so hence it's uh, showing ridiculously low miles per hour and then average MPG. Um, so uh, it's had a brand new battery. The keys are working, uh, I'll demonstrate that in a second, but there must be some issue that's just throwing that fault up. If I go to main menu, vehicle info, warnings, so we've got refuel and system fault workshop. Come back out of all that. Um, all the gauges work fine. I've driven it a total of 132 miles, drives beautifully, very quick. Um, obviously, I took it off-road at some point, had it to about 100 miles an hour, um, but it's mainly the acceleration and smoothness that's uh, quite impressive. Um, house heated seats, there they work. This trim wants clipping back in a little bit better. Um, <coughs> very short list of niggles, really, given the car like this. Um, oh, one of the windows clunks with the rear one, but um, uh, yeah, what was I about to do here? Um, I've managed to forget now. Right, I just remembered what it was. I can demonstrate the keys. So that locks and unlocks the car. Did that? I hope that I made it in the film. Um, well, anyway, I'll do it again in case that my, that locks and unlocks it. And then this one also locks unlocks it and start the car and so on so I'm not sure there is really an issue with that um, there must be something but um, uh, it doesn't prevent the car from being started run driven and used um, there we go I think I've covered everything um, and you don't go on a bit but I'd rather you've got the whole picture very very presentable car with a tow bar lots of power full service history no service required doesn't require tires or brakes either just some cosmetic bits and pieces um, give me a call 07 800 911 911 located near Nutsford Cheshire close to M6 Junction 19 M56 Junction 6 and train, uh, train stations on two different main lines so easily accessible um, I'll wait to hear from you 07 800 911 911 thanks